Hello, welcome to this lesson of the Chemistry Tutor. We're going to use some concepts that we have learned in the last section to talk about something called diffusion and effusion. They sound very similar, but they have slightly different meanings. And we'll use the concepts of RMS speed of uh, molecular gases to calculate the effusion rate of two different gases and how, the, how that works. But before you do that, you probably need to understand what the difference between diffusion and effusion is, okay? Diffusion is, and I could write this down, but you'll see it in your book, and it's, it's very simple to understand. It's when one substance mixes with another substance through the motion and collision of molecules, okay? So if I have a house on fire, let's say, I'm gonna be down the, down the street, uh, even if I don't know the house is on fire, eventually I'm going to smell it, okay? Now part of the reason that I smell it is because the wind is blowing the cloud of smoke my direction, but even if there was no wind at all, let's pretend it was the most calm, still day, there was no wind carrying that smoke trail right over where I was at, I would still eventually smell the burning house. Why? Okay, well that process is called diffusion. What's going on is you have the burning happening and the smoke comes off and the smoke is, is, is part of the gas there and it's basically floating around with the gas, okay? So what's happening is the smoke particles are colliding with the air and, and through time, through random collision process between the molecules, basically the, the smell, for lack of a better word, makes its way through a wider and wider, dis wider, and wider uh, distance, just through random collisions. Okay? If I take a bucket of slime or a bucket of sludge from the refrigerator, some nasty smelling stuff, and I just throw it in a corner, like literally just chuck it where the bucket is gone, I just throw it against the wall, and then I walk across the house, give it some time and you will smell it. That's diffusion. Because the, the, the molecules associated with the smell, they're part of the air too, and through random collisions with the air molecules, it might for a second move this direction and bounce off of a molecule here. It might go backwards to the direction it came, but then the next collision might advance it forward and back and forward and back, kind of like the stock market. The stock markets go up and then go down and go up and go down. You can kind of think of it sort of similarly. That's diffusion, okay? So the way you write that word is that is diffusion. And it means one substance mixes with another substance through motion and collision. Now, the examples I've been giving has been dealing with a gas, which is relatively fast diffusion process. And the reason it's relatively fast is because the collisions are happening constantly. The gas molecules are free to move a whole lot more than they are in a solid, for instance. And so the collisions are happening so frequently and you have such mobility of the, of the molecules there that you can carry a smell a greater distance much faster, even, you know, even though you're colliding, uh, because of, of that fact, because you're doing a lot of collisions 